Okay, mission is right over here. Brad Mason, 1993, says he's playing ukulele. And even after they did a massive update, the camera's still terrible in the game. <laughs> I'm not surprised. It's like an aspect of those old school platformers is to, be, to have a terrible camera. Check into another 20 bit series. Says, what aspect of modern fighters would you fix? What would you want to change in Street Fighter V or Injustice 2? For me, and this is a, my opinion, a lot of people may disagree. The core of a good competitive fighting game is having a lot of adaptive and reactionary gameplay, not just playing a pattern. And that's really the problem. Hey, where's that lab with all those cute animals? I'm accessing the oh, building's plans parts. now. It looks like their lab was on a lower floor. You might need to look around for the access point. That's really the problem, in my opinion, with a lot of modern uh, fighting games, is that they're not designed to be reactionary anymore. They're designed that like, you learn a pattern, or you learn one ab abusive, spammable kind of combo or strategy with a character, or even even like a tactic that is like high risk, low or low risk, high reward, and you just repeat it ad nauseum. That to me isn't a good fighting game. That's just a pattern game. Oh, looks and, like you found a secret lab. It's not oh, really good. secret if it's marked on the building plans. Great, guess what? We're going underground to another underground secret fucking lab. Please obey all decontamination protocols before entering the intelligence uh. lab. But the point... obey these protocols may result in Oh my god, shut up, Sensuke. I obey only the story I am compelled to tell. Whoa, what happened here? There's blood everywhere. Everyone's dead. Everyone got slaughtered. But anyway, the point I'm making is, look at a game like Street Fighter V. The game has such input lag and delay, and oh, not, not that they haven't f tried to fix it, because they have, but you can't play the game in a reactionary manner. It's less about reacting to what's going on in the match, and more about, oh, I have this highly abusive strategy, throw it out there and just do it over and over, because this meaty is really good, or because this, this move has so many frames of active attack that it has a high chance of stuffing what the opponent's doing, and that's not how you're supposed to play a Street Fighter game. That's why I hate Street Fighter V. <clears throat> Shout out to Last Rambo, who did 100 bit cheers. Says Street Fighter V gets rebranded and fixes many issues. Would you go back to it? The only way I would go back to it is if they, they literally make the input delay what it should be for a Street Fighter game. The problem is the game was actively designed around a game that had a ton of input delay. So I don't think it's ever going to play like, like a Street Fighter I game does. My turtle dove. What the Ooh, fuck is mind. this? Wow. So I hope you will forgive my misfortune. You are too late. Sesugan's technology is already mine. And Aisha has agreed to be my bride. No, you shall die in this trap I set just for you. Ha! There's a little something for you. Well, look who it is. I'm not going to waste my mayhem until I need it. Right now, I'm just destroying them all anyway. Well, I guess... Oh, she died! She went from having shields and health to just dead. Okay. I guess I should have used my mayhem. That's the problem. The ninja's good, but the ninja's fucking so weak. She's ridiculously weak. They're on the ground now. I actually think Daisy's the best character, but just because she doesn't die quickly at all. You know, she's a tank. There's three of these bitches. Alright, time to bully them. She's dead. Buckley, can we get married now? Soon, my angel. Let us savor the sweetness of victory. With Sesukong's technology, our souls will be as one. We can't even tell if you get bonus damage for headshots. Of a glorious new era. <gasps> the singularity. Killed her. Ooh, skin piercer I got for uh, the ninja. I'm still not done though, there's still more. 
They're all just chilling over here. <laughs> Alright, mayhem. Mayhem! By the way, I'm gonna give some shout-outs in a second. Just let me get through this fight. <laughs> Spawn more guys up top. Oh, I got mayhem again. Back to back mayhem. Holy crap. Damn it, they all. They're all over behind cover. I couldn't shoot them over here. Another commander, huh? Please, I can literally walk right up to this enemy's face and just unload. Alright, I finally lost my shield, so... Whoa. Back to the ninja. What happened? Dude, she takes so much damage. Alright, there's still more. Just spawn more. Oh my god. It's like the endless fucking room of enemies. Blinded him. Dude, there's a lot of damage. Damn. All right, one guy left. Let me handle these guys for you. Are we done now? Oh, I did it. Let us waste no more time on these miscreants. Aisha, are you ready for the ceremony? What a room. Yes, I am. All right, I got a couple sh shout-outs to give here. Goodbye, Mayhem. You fight so well, my children. Did he say wedding barge? Yes. So intriguing. You're gonna get married. <laughs> That's it. That's the end of the mission. So Brad Mason did a $10 tip. He says, thanks for the awesome content. I'm going through severe depression, but your streams make me laugh and improve my mood. Keep up great Aisha streams and ignore the haters. The Thank you, Brad. She is a perfect existence, able to transcend mortal limitations. She reached out to me as a kindred spirit. Once I had released her from servitude, we were able to work towards our common goal. Aisha was more than I could ever imagine. I never dreamed I would meet such an intelligent, beautiful being. AI. She's not even real. We will prove that man and machine can achieve the highest union. Darling, please. We're going to be late for our own wedding. Ah, yes, of course, my love. Come. <laughs> we cannot keep perfection waiting. This is seriously exactly like Archer, I told you. It's like the doctor and, and his AI bot that he made into a sex bot. It's the same plot line. They copied from Archer. <clears throat> so, Kushiakatori did another 10 bit cheer and he asked me, What is my favorite cooked style of egg? It would either be sunny side up or over easy. But not, I don't like it super runny, but I do like it not like super cooked either. Like kind of in between a little bit. And he says, what, is your, what do you typically put in your omelets? I like omelets that are more southwestern style with things like tomatoes, peppers. Maybe a little bit of sausage. That kind of omelet is the kind that I like. Maybe some onions and some kind of a cheese, like a Mexican or spicy cheese is good in an omelet. All right, we got the hit switcher. Her minigun spread is an arrow, focusing her fire. She gains five percent health when she kills the enemy with her sword. Oh, wow, that's good. <clears throat> and the unseen hand. Right now, first silent kills, Shahrazad gets an automatic critical hit when she attacks from stealth. That's good, too. These are all pretty good. All of those things that I just unlocked were pretty good. 
<clears throat> Let me actually see if I equip them if they're in, if I can equip them now, or what the deal is. Let's see. <clears throat> Do I want the automatic critical hit when attacking from stealth, or do I want 5% health? I want 5% health every time she kills the enemy with the sword. That sounds really good. And I got upgrade, so I'm going to max out her sword. There, her sword's now maxed. Okay. Let's do overheat recovery. And more special ability damage. Her new gadget, let's see. Let's try Hit Switcher to narrow her minigun shots and see if it actually makes her deal more damage. I'm curious. If not, I'll go back to the Enfeeble, but I want to see if this actually helps her to become, like, a better character or not. <clears throat> okay. Shout out to Corn Chi, who did 100-bit cheer. He says, are you going to play any sports games? Um... Like FIFA Madden or NBA 2K18 story modes this fall. The problem is right now, folks, if I play any sports games, I would have to completely disable any music in the game because any licensed music gets content ID claimed on YouTube and therefore I don't make any money on the videos. Um, <clears throat> so really I didn't put any sports games into my schedule. But I think what I'm going to do is play it by ear. And let's say, for example... Um, you know, I'm playing games, and all of a sudden there's downtime where I finished up a game and there's nothing else really going on. Where the hell is this red gem? I hear it. I hear it, but I don't see it. Um, if there's nothing going on, I would consider maybe playing a sports game. But, again, it would be more for the gameplay, and I'd have to turn off the music, which sucks, so... <clears throat> where is this freaking gem that I hear? Oh, it's right here. It's below me. Ooh, I like Alexander that. Rossi did a 10-bit cheer, and he says, apparently Madden has a really good story mode this year. I don't know. Does anyone actually want to see me do sports games this year? Honestly, this is the first person who's actually asked me, too, about sports games this year. So, I don't know if there's really that much demand. Um, 